Hey everyone! In the last video, we made an animation using just claw. Today, we are taking it a step further. We are going to make an avatar animation using Mixamo and Blender. That will allow us to apply various motions and then refine the details in Blender. Here's the process. First, we'll export the avatar from claw as an FBX file. Then, we'll bring it into Mixamo, edit motion animation, and download the animated avatar. Then, we'll import the animation into Blender. After that, we'll go back to Claw, add clothing to the animated avatar, and finally bring everything back into Blender using an Alambic file. By doing this, we can apply more diverse animations and fine tune the details in Blender. Ready? Let's get going. Open your avatar in Claw. We are going to export it as it is. So go to File, Export, FBX. Choose a save location. I'm going to name my avatar Mia and save it. When the export window pops up, don't change anything, just click OK. Next, head over to Mixamo. If you are a first-time user, you will need to sign up and log in. Then, click Unload Character and select the avatar file you just exported. Once the upload is complete, click Next. Now, you will see markers for rigging. Place each marker correctly, chin, wrist, elbows, knees, and groin. Perfect. Now we've successfully uploaded Glow Avatar to Mixamo. Now you can apply any motion you want. I'm going to use on the walk in circle motion. Once you click on it, the animation will be applied to your avatar. Now let's download the animated avatar. Keep the file type as FBX default and simply click download. This may take a moment. Once the download is complete, open Blender. When Blender opens, delete the default cube. And go to File, Import, FBX and select the animation file you just downloaded. Now you can see your animated avatar in Blender. At the bottom, there is a yellow timeline. If you move the playhead, you will see the avatar moving. Since my walking animation runs from frame 1 to 380, I'll adjust the end frame accordingly. This is not super important right now, but when we save the project later, it will determine whether we export the entire animation or just specific part. If your animation timeline is too long, you can zoom out, dragging the bottom bar to the right or scrolling down on the timeline. Now, let's change the avatar's pose to T-pose since we'll be adding clothing in Claw. Starting with a T-pose makes it much easier to apply clothing properly. To do this, drag the entire animation slightly backward and adjust the end frame accordingly. Go to pose mode at the top and select the pose and click clear transform to all. Now the avatar is in a T pose. To save this as the starting pose, go to pose, select animation, insert keyframe. You will see a yellow keyframe appear at frame 1. Now when you play the animation, 
it will start in a T pose and then transition into the walking animation. Let's export this file to as an Alembic file. Now, go to Cloud and open a new project or delete the current avatar. Then, import the Alembic file we just saved. When the import Alembic window pops up, don't change anything, just click OK. Now, I'm going to add clothing to my avatar. After adding the clothing to the avatar, the only thing left is the animation step. But before that, there are a few things to check. First, make sure everything is sewn properly. Then check if the fit looks the way you want. Also, watch out for any fabric collisions or area where the fabric is stuck inside the avatar. Finally, go to animation mode and record the motion along with the clothing file. This is the same process as making an animation directly in Claw. If you are curious, I've already made a tutorial on Claw only animation. I'll leave the link at the top. Double check the animation again. Then go back to simulation mode and export the file as Alambic Ogawa. When exporting, check the thick option. You will see an option for UV coordinate. This asks if you want to export texture information. For now, leave it off. I'll cover UV mapping in other tutorial. Now, import the final Alambic file into Blender. And done. We've successfully created an animated avatar with clothing. However, as you can see, we lost all the textures on the avatar and clothing. But don't worry, I'll cover how to fix this in the next tutorial. That's for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!